Today, Nova Drift, Speed Run, Annihilation, Wilder Metamorphosis, Firefly, Dying Star. Uh, yeah, this might end up looking kind of the same as the previous one um, because it's the same plan and hopefully it just like gets executed a bit better. Um, the, the, this is a kind of slow wave to get on screen and we didn't even, oh yeah, we're going to waste a reroll there, that's cool. Um, that, that was not super fast either, oh well. Um, yeah, it's kind of down at this point to do we get waves that are good for speedruns? Do we get waves where all the critters get on screen quickly and like in the same place so we can, you know, kill all of them conveniently? I don't want any of that stuff. Okay, I guess we take this because, um, yeah, sure. Stabilization good, rapid reconstruction. None of these are, I don't want four rampages. Um, we do want a candescence. Okay, so that was... Quantum Decoherence is one of the, the weird mods that's actually very good for a speedrun because either we get everything we want and we go fast and it's fantastic or uh, we just reset the run. So so that's fine and then we don't, yeah we didn't, I don't want four rampages, I kind of specifically want one rampage power reserves, I, I mean maybe skirmish was better there, who knows, they were all kind of bad. Um, but it's also 122, and I kind of wanted this boss done within one minute. And this is super slow. And I don't think that the extra mods we've got will make us 30 seconds faster by the time we get to the rest of the run. Especially if we're going to get... Oh, no, okay. I was worried this was snakes for a moment, because snakes take a while to get on screen. Um, yeah, we've got... We've got a lot more mods than we usually would coming out of the first boss. I guess we see by the time we get to the second boss, because um, I kind of want the second boss done. Yeah, did make sure. Um, yeah, I kind of want the second boss done in under four minutes, and I suspect that if we are not, yeah, if if all these extra mods don't let us get that done too much faster, then we're not actually any better off. And, yeah, things, I guess we suspend our judgment, so yeah. Um, these these guys are kind of an annoying wave, I didn't even do that particularly well. Um, the, these guys are a great wave, they'll, they'll just turn up and like explode and hey, there, there's the mod we were holding onto that for, so after this we can get a rampage. Um, I guess the disadvantage of this is we're also not getting any more than four Scorching Wakes, which is a little bit of a shame. Um, scorching Wakes do, like, they seem to be the largest chunk of boss damage as we get into, like, the late game. Because they are, like, the single target damage that we can just get more of. Um, so having, oh, this is also the really slow hammerhead spawn, isn't it? Because they all come in one at a time, and then that also was not particularly fast. Oh, well. Whereas this is, like, the good way mine spawn, because uh, if I'd got all of them once. Yeah, let's just get Dying Star now. This this could go wrong, but in which case we also just reset. It's fine. Speed run. Um, we also don't have a rampage yet. The rampage is actually kind of mandatory for the level 40 boss. Um... I mean, we, do we get a rampage? We do not get a rampage. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know if we're going to be able to do this level 40 boss in, like, the next 20 seconds unless we have a rampage. We can give it a... Or is this a rampage? It's not a rampage. Okay. Give it a two grenade, guys. Come over here. Start to work on these vulnerabilities. Um, miss. That's really cool. Um, sure. Can we get... No, because we need to go... Oh, it doesn't need to work now. Um, 4 minutes 5. Yeah, that, that felt really bad. That definitely could have gone better if we had hung around inside. Um, yeah, okay, sure. Several several of these things are useful. Let's let's not like lose the run to a comet. That would feel pretty bad. Maybe... I mean, 405 is kind of on the cusp of... I don't feel great about having got all of that. Like, it wasn't slow enough that I'm just going to can the run, but it's also not fast enough that I'm feeling good about having all of these extra quantum decoherence levels and no rerolls. So, 
I guess we again kind of suspend this decision about um, okay so a comet really wanted to be on YouTube it's going to help me out with some of these snakes these snakes do sometimes get take a while to get online quickly uh, masochism is what we want there yeah I think I think for the next boss for the wave 60 boss I would I mean Scion Scion is faster but also trickier to execute hey discord orbs um so i guess that's still what we want and i guess at this point we are kind of all in on just doing i mean it's already a speed run we're already all in on doing everything as quickly as possible um uh absorption i mean dying star should be taking care of a lot of these guys for us um this guy also wants to go away with some degree of haste uh, we can get, we don't want Juggernaut, I guess we get another Masochism? I, I don't know that we have the Hyper Metabolisms yet to be, like, permanently deriving value from that. Uh, but all of these guys can also hopefully go away pretty quickly. Not sure that I really did that so fast. Um, but yeah, done this, done this a couple of times with Firefly, now I have a kind of an idea of how fast everything needs to happen. Okay, so we did get the fast boss. Let's see if we can do it well. We can get that guy, which is nice. Uh, that's not where we want to be. We want to be over here. And kind of like so. 6, 628, maybe that's okay. Um, solar heart, we're going to get a solar heart. Um, so now we really need the extra hypermetabolisms. I mean, our health is still going up. I think... I think getting that wave done at 6.30, I'm happy enough that... Oh, who do we do first? I guess this guy first, and then we just kind of... This guy also has a shield, kind of doesn't matter. We just go through the front door, just scorching wake things. Just bypass the shield, it's always easier. Uh, second, yeah, the, the force arm would also have been good, but the hyper metabolism is a thing that I want to get the various adrenal modules and stuff like that online. Okay, we can get hit by those guys. These guys have a shield, which is... Yeah, it's fine. I'll just leave some fire around the place because someone's going to get on screen at some point. Uh, these guys also have... Do I have enough? I do apparently have enough Scorch and Wakes at this point for all those guys to just not be a problem. These, these triangle mob spawners I like a lot. They die pretty quickly if I can be just set up well to put a lot of fire on them. And they also give a decent amount of experience and they also seem to get on screen pretty quickly. Um, and they're also a pretty good first wave because even though the like the spawner itself is not great for trying to kill it with basic weapons, um, they they spit out guys and the first the first critter they spit out will give me the experience I need to get the pulse thing. So yeah, I am in a position where I'm just resetting a bunch of initial waves if I don't get an initial an initial wave that I want. I'm gonna get kinetic boost because it's. I mean, it's not the least useless thing. I mean, maybe, maybe Apotheosis is worth doing. Still not entirely sure. Can we? Okay, we didn't actually... Kind of wanted to skip over to the other side to... Okay, now we've got Apotheosis. Which of these bosses do we get? Oh, this is, this is one that we can really abuse quite heavily with Apotheosis, because they'll try and charge us, and then we'll just be like, Hi, how you doing? Have all the damage stacks. Um, 8.30 I think is okay for that boss. And yeah, now we just... Now we just proceed as fast as possible to the wave 100 boss. We really hope we get Glaucus. Glaucus is, with this setup, significantly easier to deal with than Scion. I don't think I want any of those, so we're just going to not worry about mods anymore. And hope we have enough stuff set up. I think I've only got one hypermetabolism. I would like more hypermetabolisms. I get rid of all of these guys, get rid of all of those guys, get all the orbs. Um, hi, there's this boss again. There's this guy as well, they can all go away. I guess I could get it like an Aegis or something. I think that was one of the options. That's not necessarily too bad. But yeah, the goal, the goal time at the moment is. 11 minutes or close to, which I think is kind of viable. I am based on other things I've done without recording stuff. And then, yeah, hopefully we get clean waves, and then hopefully also the right boss. Oh, and also remember that I have Apotheosis, so I can just, like, cruise through here and do mean stuff like that. And, yeah, which is... 
one of the reasons why Glaucus is a whole lot easier. Um, that probably would have been easier to do with a screen wrap. But never mind. Um, 93... Wave 93 at 10 minutes, I think I'm kind of happy with. These snakes I used to be fine with because the, then I realized that they don't actually drop all that much experience and they still take a while to get on screen. So I like the snakes somewhat less now. Um, these guys are also still just fine. Uh, this guy again is also kind of fine at this point. I uh, probably could have done a better job of just hovering in front of him and just dispensing fire into the mouth, but it's all still fine. These guys also, we can just kind of, yeah, that's fine. Um, okay, so, do we get the boss that we want? We do not. Can we still do this relatively quickly? Yeah, we still take damage from those orbs, which is a bit of a shame. Other reasons why this boss is not the one that I would prefer. Um, Glaucus is just a whole lot easier to just put a p pile of fire damage all over the place. But we might still get close to... That is under 11 minutes. 10.58. Okay, that's pretty exciting. Because um, it still didn't feel like the best that I could have done, so maybe we keep going with this. I mean, early quantum decoherence kind of paid off. Bonus sign is also just here. I mean, I think those things still hurt quite a lot, so we're going to try and avoid all of that. Actually, we can fly through them. We just take damage from them. Um, but we also don't really want to be here because we've got to get to the ending screen. So we're just going to, yeah, die at the same time as Scion. That worked out pretty well. Uh, sub 11 minute annihilation run. Uh, starting with, yeah, quantum decoherence into explosive growth, into just, yeah, a bunch of madness. I uh, all worked out pretty well eventually. I think we're happy with that. It was under 11 minutes, and I did want to get under 11 minutes. So, so yeah, that's what we did today. Nova Drift.